That's part of the suck bay. Oh. Suck bay. Suck. Remember, means white. Yeah. And bay means gold. In the year 1933, a group of archaeologists they were commissioned to explore this Mayan road. And according to them, this is the longest road of the Mayan culture because it has 100 kilometers long. It's not 100 meters, it's 100 kilometers. 64 How wide? miles, approximately. Almost 10 meters wide. 10 meters wide and elevated a. Uh... Between 30, 20 centimeters to 2 meters, 2.5 meters. They most of the times build the roads according to the condition of the terrain to keep the level. To keep the level. Yeah. And when it was built, there were obviously no trees in it or anything. It was just smooth white roads. Smooth white roads, yeah, yeah. because they covered the roads with stucco. Yeah. The stucco is, a, is something like a kind of mortar. Mm -hmm. It's a white clay powder from the limestone. They also used marine shells powder, chewing gum sap and honey, minerals. They also use saps of different trees that we have in the forest. After that, I use water to mix the whole material to get something like a like a motor to pave the road. As you know, that the white color is also visible in the night. See, and also the moonlight mm -hmm. makes the marine shells powder bright or reflects in the darkness. Oh. Therefore, Mayan people they didn't have any, they didn't have any problem to walk during the night or during the darkness. They were smart people. Very smart. And on this road as well, the archaeologists they have found pieces of cylindrical stone. That they say Mayas they use the cylindrical stone like a steam roller to compact the roads to get smoke and flood the surface of the road. The beginning of this road is just a few meters from this part, like about six or seven meters from this part. That is the beginning. Mm -hmm. yeah. And goes all the way to the west side. It is built to connect Koba to Yashuna, another archaeological stone nowadays. That is like that is like about 17 kilometers kilometers each it is that is to connect this road. Not with Chichen Itza, so many people are for us, why many people from Koba, they never did. It's almost like clay. Yeah, powder. Like, yeah. Very soft, huh? It's silky. Very soft. Yeah. Nice. That's how the road was elevated. Stone is fairly soft, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Relatively. So, what stone did they use to cut it? Have the archaeologists determined that? They use like obsidian, which is a volcanic stone. Hello, folks. Hello. How are you? Excellent. Where are you from? Moria. Moria? Yeah. British Columbia. Oh, really? British Columbia. Uh, Kelowna. Oh, beautiful area. It is. So, is this. What do you think? Oh, it's gorgeous here. It's amazing. Much better than Montreal. Yeah. Are those allowed birds?